It's Paul with Shirley Fabrication, Tuscaloosa, Alabama. Just want to do a quick video, and I, I always come out with the same thing. I think I, I want, want to do a quick video, but I do want to do a quick video. This cooker right here is from Mr. Tony Cleveland. Tony is a member of a fan page. I know he's a member of Shirley Fabrication fan page. We have two fan pages, Shirley Fabrication fan page and fans of Shirley Fabrication. Okay, so y'all go to both pages, join both pages. There's no competition there. We're no, one page doesn't hate the other. That's not about that. It's about stuff, uh, guys that are our customers promoting us. There's a gentleman, and Lord forgive me, because he promotes our 36 models. He has a page for uh, fans of uh, something like 30, Shirley Fabrication, 36 model owners or something. I, I, and I really thank him for what he does, and I'm going to do something for you. I just can't remember your name right now. I'm sorry. I've been working all day at the refinery. But again, this, me and Tony, this is Tony Cleveland, discussed this build. Uh, he wanted a patio model. This is a 24 by 42 patio model. And uh, what I did for this model here, for Tony, I'm gonna open it up, it's tight. I added him a third shelf up here, high. You know, you can cook uh, smaller meats up there. You can cook some ribs, chicken, sausages, or whatever you want, you know. So uh, this is not a straight back model, it's a cabinet model. It's a single door. I really like the single door models. I don't know why we haven't done them for years. But anyway, Tony's got plenty of room to do parties or whatever he wants to at his house, entertain people and have plenty of room. I added this shelf for Tony because he's a veteran. I added it at my cost free. So uh, I just put it in there for him and said, thank you, Tony. And uh, I put the stainless shelf on there too. Uh, so anyway, uh, this is a 36 model, 42 model, I'm sorry. Has gaskets on the door. Everybody knows our cook chambers are three eighths thick. When it goes up in here, it's a quarter inch. Has a probe insert here and here on top. I just chose to put them on top. A lot of times I put mine here, and Thomas and Dad put them on top. Uh, that's where I put mine. So that's what I did. I had Tony the Marine in emblem cut out. Daniel Freeman. These aren't cheap, I'll tell you that. But I, this right here is a slick, slick job. I want you to get up and see the intricate part of it right, right here. I mean, look at what he did. This is cut with a water jet. You can take a laser and it won't cut near as slick as his water jet. I done compared the two and there's not even a comparison. Daniel Freeman does a great job. Look at all the little intricate stuff he did on here. It's, it's just, Daniel did a great job. His water jet did and he does a lot of cutouts for us. Any customer has anything they want cut out besides for these cookers, contact Daniel. I'll give you a link or whatever to him. He's a great guy. Does a lot for us. Uh, so anyway, this cooker here has a fire basket back here. A big heavy duty fire basket. I put him an ash pan in there too. I added him a bottle. I added a bottle opener on here. Uh, stack just comes up like it always does. Comes up, turns, and goes like that. So it's a great cooker for Tony. Tony, I appreciate your service as I do any veteran. Guys, I don't know who Tyler has for bills. I don't know who's a veteran and who not, who's not. I know my bills and who's a veteran, okay? That's what I know. So I don't know anything about Tyler's stuff. Y'all realize that? And please know this right now. I am not booking any bills, any more bills, till I completely, 100% build my last cooker. Then I'm going to transition into some things I want to do, like taking a little time off or for one. Uh, I work every day. You can ask my wife, it's feminine. Come back around here, Sharon. I mean, I work four 12-hour shifts in a refinery. I work four days on, four days off. Occasionally, I have to do some overtime. I, I want to do some videos on these cookers, okay? Occasionally, I have to do some overtime, but I have to also, I don't have to, I choose to also build these cookers. So I'm working, you know, if it's Sunday, I try to take off and go to church. But uh, other than that, I'm working. So I'm busting my backside and I have a lot of bills that I booked that I've got to get done. It's coronavirus. I've been waiting on trailer, axles, trailer, wheels, trailer, tires. You know, it's, it's kind of, a, you know, you, it's, there's things that this it's virus that's hurt. You know, so just be patient with us. I'm not sitting on my butt watching Popeye or, or Batman or Bozo the Clown. I'm working. So this is our 36 models, guys. This is the most popular cooker we, cooker we build right now. It's a 36 model. Most of you know it has three shelves that automatically come in these cookers. Boom, boom, boom. Has gaskets on the door. Has the single door. Just, just this door falling downhill because everything's leaning downhill right here. But it has a probe insert here. 
3,500 pound axle on the back with 16 inch diameter wheels which are 8 inch boat trailer wheels. So I'm telling you guys this is an option what I would do. We have searched all over for the best wheels we can find for the front. These are the best we can find now that are air filled. And the reason we do that, a lot of people want to roll out beside something to concrete. If I was rolling only on concrete, only on concrete, never getting on anything else asphalt, I would get tired of adding me some heavy casters up front. It may be a few dollars more to find a heavy caster up front. It may not, but uh, that's what I would do. They're never going to blow out, never going to do. I, I can't help if these tires go flat. Normally, we don't have any problem, but over a period of time, they can do that. Just keep them aired up. But uh, anyway, this chamber here is 3 8 thick, too. There's three grates that slide out. Like I said, they slide out. There's guys building 20 by 42 cookers, 20 by 36 cookers, 20 by 40 cookers. I'll, and this is a reverse flow. I will guarantee you I will pull this cooker up side by side by it any day, any day of the week. And our cooker's less. Check it out. Check out everything we're doing now. Our cookers are a little less money for more stuff. Okay, we got the bottle opener going on here. It's not bolted on yet. Uh, ash pan in the fire box. So you look at apples for apples, dollar for dollar. I'm telling you, this is one of the best offset cookers on, on the, uh, in the country. And I have guys, you know, I see on forums talking about, well, you know, it's a reverse flow. I'm looking for a general offset cooker. Take note, if you wanted a general offset cooker, I would be more than glad to make a general offset cooker. It is nothing to it. It is very simple, very simple. Less work on me, same price. So, uh, you know, I can make a general offset cooker with grass out way down here and it comes in different at the firebox. I can most certainly do that. I can put tuning plates in it if that's what you want. But I'll compare reverse flow to tuning plates any day. I'll take this, the reverse flow with the, with the uh, draft where we got it set up here. That's just me, because I don't like screwing with tuning plates. But I will, I'll do, we'll do anything like that. You just tell them. So, we appreciate y'all's business, guys. Uh, I don't know what else I got to say about this other than we thank Tony for his business. I think I said that Tony had a bottle opener on here and his rover inserts and everything. Thank you, Tony. Your cooker will be shipping tomorrow. This will be shipping. Shine over here, Sharon. There's several more cookers of 36 models. Tyler got. Y'all just look at this 36 model. You take a real good look at this cooker. And again, if you don't write reverse flow, tell Tyler. He'll turn it into direct flow for you. We'll do anything. I'll, th I'll throw him in there going in like a jumbo. I don't care. I know exactly what I'm doing, and I can do it easily. Easily. So anyway, uh, guys, thank y'all for y'all's business. Thank you for all you do for us. Thank all our veterans. I don't care who they are. Thank each and every one of you, and uh, we're out of here.